Karabo Kekana from the University of Johannesburg joins me in studio now. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Is there a challenge when it comes to accounting and maths with South African students in particular? Good afternoon, Zinga, and good afternoon to South Africa. So to answer your question in do we have a problem for accounting and maths in the country, I definitely believe that we do have fewer students who are taking the subjects, both accounting and mathematics, and we have seen a decline in the interest towards accounting and mathematics from high school students across the country. Mm -hmm. Yes. Minister Mutsaka attributes that to poor learning at a foundational phase at the primary school level. Is that correct? Uh, is that a correct assessment? I think that could be part of the problem, especially for mathematics. But I do think that for accounting, because students only get introduced to accounting when they are in um, high school grade 9 through EMS, I think that that might also be where the problem is stemming from, that when they're introduced to the subject of accounting, it's not made um, as exciting for the learners as, as it really actually is, mm -hmm. or maybe not even linked to the real life and real life situations that they can connect with. Okay. Yes. Just explain to us what EMS is. EMS is, it's, it's an economics and accounting subject that's done in grade nine mm -hmm. by the high school students. I'm not an expert in, um, okay. in, in high school education. So, so there's also been a concern that the type of accounting that's taught in high school can sometimes prejudice students um, when it gets to a tertiary level. Is it anecdotal or have you seen evidence of that? Yes, so generally what happens is, firstly, accounting is not a requirement for high school, um, I mean for university entrance. So that also kind of deters the students from wanting to take accounting because you're not required to have accounting to study BCom accounting. So that's the, that's the first um, aspect that we need to consider and keep in mind. Then there's also the fact that if it's not made exciting and interesting for the learners in high school, they've got very little desire to continue with it going forward. Mm -hmm. So I do think that there is an opportunity for collaboration between the universities and the high schools um, so that it, the curriculum of accounting is made more practical, more real life for the learners. Let's take a look at uh, what Panyaza Lusufi has said yes. on, on the issue of this. In Gauteng, accounting as a subject may come to an end in 2008. We had over 35,000 learners taking accounting, but in 2019, this number dropped to around 14,000 learners. So almost half of our learners are no longer willing to do accounting. We have a serious problem here. How deep is that issue of accounting? And talk to us as you're talking to that problem about the importance of having people studying accounting. Okay. So I just also just want to comment on, on the tweet that he's, he's said over there. The fact that there's been a decline, we're not sure what the actual attribution is to that problem or what is actually causing it. Um, I do think that the, the accounting that you do in high school is relevant for the accounting that you do at university. So yes, you can still do well in university without having done accounting. But the reality is that when you do it at high school, it introduces you to the field and the job possibilities that are available within the field of accounting. So that's the first aspect that we need to consider. Then if you do it in high school as well, you are taught the basics of mm. accounting, how to do, how to trace from source documents all the way through to the trial balance. And you see that coming alive and you've got the time in high school to go through the process of what a source document actually looks like, what a trial balance looks like. Whereas in university, we don't have the time to take people through that very basic foundation and show you from source document all the way to the trial balance what that looks like. What next? That's a very good question, Zinga. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm standing in a position where I think we do need to have more conversation as opposed to throwing the water out of the back bucket and saying people are not taking accounting, therefore we're going to throw it out of the system completely. I think this is an opportunity for us to have a conversation and say, what would be the impact if we removed accounting completely from the syllabus? What would be the impact to the business world? Because accountants are fundamental to the business environment and the economy. The other question is, if we are to keep accounting in the high school syllabus, then we need to ask ourselves, how do we improve it? And that is a conversation between universities. It's a conversation between the Department of Higher Education. It's also a conversation between our educators, the, 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 the teachers that teach um, accounting in a high school basis. Karabo Kekana, who is an accountant and a lecturer at the University of Johannesburg, joining me in studio there. Thanks so much for your time this afternoon.